Hey, you guys. It's literally me. I'm funny. Sometimes I buy stuff, sometimes I say stuff, and sometimes I do stuff. Happy Gothmas! <laughs> I know it's been a little while, but today we have some Killstar stuff. So like I've kind of been holding out on buying some Killstar stuff because I know around the Christmas time they start having their Hexmas sales. And what's funny is I went ahead and bought today's order when they had like a 30% off I don't remember if it was like Black Friday or what, but I received this and then two days later, they started the actual Hexmas sale, which has a ton of items for $15. So I ended up buying like $120 worth of stuff on that one. So this is just kind of like a little preempt into the next Killstar video, which will have a ton of stuff. And I'm hoping that that comes, you know, before Gothmas because there are Gothmas related items in there. So if you could just stay with me until that one, I have three items for you here today, and then I'll have eight items in that one. So it is going to be a Killstar Gothmas once again. Speaking of stuff I bought pre-Gothmas, AKA Black Friday. I didn't really get too much because I pretty much shop deals all year long. So I had a lot of Christmas presents already taken care of. So I didn't buy myself that much either because I've just got a slew of shit this year. I did pick up a couple things, including this Killstar order, the next Killstar order. I also bought myself the Melt Cosmetics Small Mystery Box, which arrived, and I'm going to be filming that next, so that will be the next video. We're gonna unbox it together. And I did buy one palette from ColourPop when they had their little sale going on. It was a palette that I had been looking for for a long time, and it was always sold out. And then when they released this whatever percentage off sale it was, I went to the site just to check, and they had it in stock. So I was able to pretty much get free shipping shipping with it because of the discount. So I went ahead and bought that. I don't even have the shipping notification yet. So I am praying that that comes in sometime before the holiday, but even if it doesn't, we'll still do a video on it. Anyway, all that aside, we are here for a Killstar unboxing. I say unboxing because <laughs> Unlike the normal black Killstar packs, I did get a box this time. It's because when you buy homeware that comes in its own box, they put that in a big box. So let's go ahead and open, I obviously, you see I opened this already. And that is because I did try some of these on, which I'll be able to give you full reviews on as we go through the items. Okay, I'm gonna scooch scooch over here. I'm gonna put a video over here of the website item and then the video of me trying it on and blah, blah, blah. If you've been here, you know that's how it goes. And if you're new here, welcome. I am just some crazy bitch that I don't know, buys a bunch of shit. I particularly like dark stuff, even though my attitude is a little bit bunny. Okay, the first item that I purchased is the Spirit World Knit Sweater. This is actually a sweater that I wanted for a very long time. I don't know why I just never picked it up, but then I saw the Darkling Jelly Bean tried on, and when I got to see it on her, I was like, okay, next time I order from Killstar, I'm going to order that sweater. <laughs> I bought it in a size medium, because per her video, she did say it was oversized, so I went ahead and got a medium, but it is definitely a loose fit. So here is the actual sweater, again, size medium. So this is a soft knit sweater that actually has like a harness built into it. As you can see, it's actually stitched into the shoulders and on the sides. And I want to make sure that you know that this belt is actually kind of customizable. So when I first took it out of the pack, it was set, I don't know, to the middle or something, and it did, it was kind of big. So I actually went ahead and tightened it to, I don't know, I guess I can't go any further than that. Um, it cinched it in a little bit, but like not too much. This is a very soft, comfortable sweater, guys. Like very kind of just comfy, oversized. The knit is very, very soft. I do like the details that it has on the sleeves that they're kind of like rough hemmed. So you get like the little holes and stuff. The sleeves are really long. So it's just, it has that kind of like 
winter snuggly I don't know like I mm, just I want to like I honestly can't wait to wear this I feel like I'm going to be wearing this a lot because it's super long so you can throw it on with leggings or jeggings or whatever and I think just it's plain enough for me and I really do like that about it, but it has the touch of the harness, which is like super, super cute. So I ended up paying $19.99 for this sweater and I can't imagine it being any better. For 20 bucks, this is definitely a really nice piece to have. Okay, the next item of clothing that I purchased was the over the moon oversized top. This is another one that I have been wanting for a very long time and with, I think it was like a 30% off sale or something, I ended up picking it up. I spent $20.99 on it. The way this one is sized is kind of weird because it's meant to be like super oversized. I actually ordered the extra small to medium. Like that's how it was sized. It was like extra small to medium and then it was like large to XXL or something like that. So this can really fit a lot of different sizes. Okay, so this is actually like a cropped hoodie. So the front of it is actually pretty short, but the back is super long and it has a really big oversized hood. Now let me tell you about the material. It's a little weird. Like when I took it out of the pack initially, it had all of the tissue paper like stuck to it. So I would say this is like a very stretchy, almost athletic material, but the print on it is like, it's slightly tacky. You know what I mean? Like just not like sticky, but like it's just the way that it's put on there, it's slightly tacky. So all the tissue paper was sticking to it and where it was folded, it was like kind of sticking to itself. So I had to like really like kind of get it apart. But once I got it apart, I am in love with this pattern. Is this pattern not gorgeous? It's like a whole bunch of different black on black images. And I just, I love that. I love Kill Stars black on black patterns because it lets you have kind of like a basic piece that from far away reads basic and neutral. But when you get up close, you kind of see how special it is. <laughs> Again, this is really oversized. It's extremely oversized. I can't stress that enough. It's very, very stretchy. The bottoms of the sleeves are actually really, really tight. They're very, very small. And then it gets very large as you get up to the shoulder area. It does have thumb holes in the arm and it has a very, very long hanky hem. So it has kind of like an extra shark bite cut and these little tails, oh, look, see, it's like, it's stuck to it. <laughs> these tails are very, very long and it's actually kind of neat. It makes it really interesting. So this is another great basic piece that you can like wear with jeans, leggings, even sweatpants because it does kind of have that like relaxed look. So I think for $21, I am gonna get a lot of use out of this because it's just a throw on, like go out to the mall, I hate the mall, go out to the grocery store, anything like that, or you can wear it out on like a date or like to a movie or dinner or something because it's so kind of understated, but it has that special look at the bottom. I don't know, man, I think this is a really creative piece and I'm glad I finally picked it up. All right, the final piece in this purchase from Killstar today is a Gothmas piece. Killstar goes by Hexmas, which I think I'm gonna be going by Hexmas next year because I have the uh, silver theme going. But this year I am doing Gothmas and I bought their Hexmas tree topper. Now let me tell you a little story about Gothmas, Hexmas, Killstar, and I. <laughs> I actually have a ton of Killstar Hexmas decorations. This is going to add to my collection and you will see when I do my Gothmas decorating video that I do have a set of ornaments from Killstar on the tree currently. I also have another set of ornaments that I'm not putting out this year. I won't be putting out next year, but I do have them. And with the order that's coming in next, I also bought some more Hexmas ornaments. I also have Hexmas Christmas stockings, which you will see in the video, I believe. And then this is going to add to my collection. So this, guys, is the Hexmas tree topper. Oh my gosh, this thing is so amazing. So this is a metal it's made of metal so nice quality it's got the topper to kind of put on the top of your tree 
And honestly, I thought for this year, this is going to be like the perfect tree topper. Now I have had several Gothmas themes throughout the years. You know, last year I did strict black and white, which this would have been good for. I don't know if they just didn't have this last year or this is new or whatever, but I didn't have this last year. The year before I did a really awesome Midsommar theme where it was like, you know, that old Nordic tradition. So I had like a lot of wisteria and greens and eucalyptus and all of my decorations were kind of like nature themed. And that year I bought this really cool star that was made out of twigs. So like I try to go for the themes every year. I don't know if this is gonna go on the tree next year for Hexmas with the silver theme, but we'll see. But I thought for Gothmas this year, this is gonna look awesome on my all red and black tree. I think this is gorgeous. I paid $7.99 for this bitch, $7.99. Like where else are you going to get a branded metal, also very metal, <laughs> tree topper for that price. So very happy to have this, can't wait to show you my tree. That's all I have for you guys. Oh wait, one more thing. I do have a link in the description box below that if you do wanna try some Killstar stuff, I think this link by using it will give you $5 off, which if you can get a sale that does not require a coupon code word, like sometimes when they have like, you know, 30% off, they'll be like, use code Cyber30 or whatever. But if they have like a strict sale, like the Hexmas sale that's happening right now, where just stuff is like $15, you don't need a code, you can actually use this link in there and it will save you the $5 dollars on top of the running sale. So if you want to try it out, go ahead. Please feel free to use it. It's just my little Gothmas gift to you. Now that's really all I have for you guys. <laughs> if you could please like this video, it really does help me out. If you could comment on if you like any of these things or just tell me, hey girl, hey, that would be awesome too. And guys, if you could please subscribe. I I'm really trying not to ask a lot of people, but my husband should be like, you should really ask people to subscribe because it is like the lifeblood of having a YouTube channel. <laughs> and according to my stats, 84% of the people that view my videos are not subscribed. And I think only like 20 some percent that view my videos are subscribed. So I'm trying to make that final push for a thousand by February. So if you could please subscribe, that would be the awesomest. I love you so much. I will see you on the next one.